<clears throat> Hello. Hi. Greetings from New Hampshire. Uh, the last time I hit play on that little record button down there, I was coming to you live from North Georgia, and now I think I'm in southern New Hampshire, but I'm not really sure because um, I just followed MapQuest to get here. I drove uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday, I drove 800 miles and like 15 hours from Grand Rapids to Peterborough, New Hampshire, where I'm going to be spending the next three plus weeks. And uh, it was a cool drive. I got to see Niagara Falls and little bits of the Finger Lakes District and uh, uh, Cooperstown or something like that. I don't know. And then drove down through the Berkshires and then here, which uh, it's cool. It's like a um, little town that I think Grover's Corners was based on. And then at the top of the hill are 400 acres of this property. Um, and it's awesome. And I'm going to tell you all about it um, later. I'm going to give you a big tour of everything and, and give you all the info. But right now, I, I, I kind of have some stuff to do. But I had to, I just got so excited. And I can't call anybody on the phone. So I figured I would just record myself talking that maybe somebody would hear me talk about it later or something. Um, because the picnic basket arrived. And I was very excited about this picnic basket. Um, this wonderful man at this residency leaves, who's been here for like 30 years, he leaves a picnic basket on your front porch at noon or one o'clock every day, just sort of quietly. And um, so I, this is it. This is mine. And it says Star on it because I'm a star. No, because that's the name of the cabin, Star, um, which I like because I'm doing a lot of writing about the Stella scream, you know, that Stella. So, and uh, Marlon Brando uh, doing the Stella scream, and Stella means star. But, uh, and I, I was really hungry, so I already ate my lunch. So I can't really show you what was in it, but there was some chili in it and some tortilla chips, and those are gone. And then there was a, a little cinnamon roll cookie thing and a gorgeous little tiny peach. We all know that it's not the same as the South Carolina peaches at the end of July, but this still looks pretty good. I think they grow it here. There's like gardens and chickens and shit like that. And then there was some crudite, and look what they put in here. Look at this. This is what I wanted to show you. Oops. It's, what is this? What? I have no idea what this is. I mean, it's a radish or like a beet or something. I mean, I'm assuming I'm supposed to eat it raw, but doesn't it look, it's like a little shrimpy, it's a gorgeous color. Can you see that? And doesn't it look like a little shrimpy thing? Like, you know, like, oh, Elena, hello, how are you? I hope you're having a good first day at McDowell. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit about the world famous McDowell picnic baskets, which blah, 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 whatever. Um, I'm not here for puppeteering, although I am studying ventriloquism. Maybe this could be my ventriloquist dummy. Like, how are you, radish man? I'm trying to learn. Okay, that's not going to work either. But anyway, so radish or, ra or whatever this is, beet. I don't know. Somebody add a comment to the, the, um, the YouTube and tell me what the heck this is. Um, so, and uh, obviously you can see I'm in my studio. It's got this gorgeous window, which is, that's the desk where I'm going to do most of my work, and a little cot where I can sleep if I don't feel like sleeping in the dorms. And there's a bathroom and a front porch, which is screened in, and a back porch. And I'm going to, and a fireplace, which, because it's 90 degrees, I'm probably not going to use. And I'll show you guys all that later. Um, but I want to do just a little bit more stuff before I go spaz out somewhere or something like that. Um, but so me and Radish. I just wanted to show you. I really just wanted to show you this Radish. Me and Radish are going to go get some stuff done. I hope that you're doing really well and uh, that August is treating you as well as July treated you. Or if not, then even better than July has treated you. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Or whenever. Bye.